Imagine a world teeming with bizarre and wonderful creatures, a world where the rules of life were still being written. This was the Cambrian Explosion, a period of rapid diversification and evolution that gave rise to a multitude of unique and enigmatic creatures. Among these Cambrian oddities was Orotrictus, a curious chimera that defied easy classification and continues to puzzle paleontologists to this day. Orotrictus, meaning golden hair, was a small segmented creature, measuring only a few centimeters in length. Its body was covered in a series of overlapping plates, resembling the scales of a fish or the armor of a trilobite. However, its most striking feature was its head, which was adorned with a crown of long hair-like appendages. These appendages, unlike anything seen in other Cambrian creatures, have sparked debate about their function and evolutionary significance. Some scientists believe the appendages of Orotrictus were sensory organs, used to detect food or predators in the murky Cambrian waters. Others suggest they may have been used for swimming or burrowing. Their exact purpose remains a mystery, adding to the allure of this enigmatic creature. The discovery of Orotrictus fossils in China has provided valuable insights into the diversity of life during the Cambrian explosion. Its unique morphology suggests that the Cambrian seas were teeming with a wide range of creatures, many of which are still unknown to science. The study of Orotrictus and other Cambrian fossils continues to shed light on the early evolution of animal life. By piecing together the puzzle of these ancient creatures, scientists can reconstruct the Cambrian ecosystem and gain a better understanding of the factors that shape the evolution of animal diversity. The story of Orotrictus is a reminder of the vastness of life's history and the ongoing quest to uncover the secrets of the past. As we continue to explore the fossil record and delve deeper into the Cambrian explosion, we may yet uncover more about this curious chimera and its place in the grand tapestry of life on Earth.